All right, people. Welcome back. Well, my <coughs> dying. <coughs> <sighs> Welcome back. Five and five. So today is Monday, and uh, unlike usual, you know, instead of using Yubel Arch Fiends, I felt like using whatever deck I felt like using. I, I don't know. It was weird. I, in the comment section below, I was like, hey, "Go ahead and stay with Yubel deck." You guys don't see. No one commented at all. That's weird. That's weird that no one commented. So I'm like, yeah, fuck it, let's just go ahead and go with Evil Harry Bell. We tweaked it up a little bit, so maybe that'll work. You know, uh, someone suggested uh, playing Shadow Mist, because, you know, I can go ahead and search for my Prisma, and I can search for my uh, plays like that. So I was like, oh, that's a pretty good idea. But, uh, of course, you know, we have to have the MVP, people. We have to have the MVP. If you guys didn't see Worlds, you probably don't know what I'm talking about, but freaking MVP right here. Putting in too much work, Mystic Tomato. Uh, of course, because it can summon both Shadow Mist and it can also summon your bell. So, synergy! But, uh, yeah. Let's go, Mystic Tomato. Let's go, you too pro, you too good, and you should get banned. Yep, so, let me go ahead and play this deck. Hopefully, I do a little bit better. Enjoy it while I last. <laughs> Enjoy. Three Rota. <laughs> Enjoy it while it lasts, because, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> because, oh my. Watch, watch, watch. Go ahead. Go ahead, Konami. Alright. Time to watch Ignite Switch. But why don't you have an extra deck? Uh, that's the thing I'm like on. Like, boy, why don't you have an extra deck? You should always have a tool bike. Especially since, you know, Ignite's are really good at go ahead and locking your ass down with, uh. Uh. What is the fucking card that I'm looking for? Number was it number eighty two or eighty six? The no, not not eighty two. I think it's eighty six. Eighty two is Heartland, right? I think eighty six. The warrior guy, the heroic guy, because you know they can easily go ahead and pump out freaking, um, you know, four level fours and be like, oh yeah, you can't summon. Then they'll freaking heat wave you, and then you'll be like, oh, you can't summon. So, so I guess we'll just sit here and watch this guy play with himself for a while. You know. I, so, how's that sound? That sounds like fun. Okay. So I'm just gonna get those two back. You only use the effect of Rescue Hamster once per duel, so okay. Is that he still just. He's no farther with resources than he was previously. You know, he's, he started out, he drew into six, and he still has six. I don't know. I don't like Ignites. I feel like they definitely, without more Logic Library, powder out of resources. You know, so, without an extra deck, he's not going to have any access to the toolbox. So, am I to assume that he is going to try to beat me with your normal monsters? Like I said, you're still playing normal monsters. Like I said, enjoy Road at 3 while well, you can, because that, that's clearly not going to stay. I mean, I'm, I'm going to talk about it more in Daily Duels, but uh, of course, talk about Worlds, talk about the deck at the top, talk about what could possibly get hit, but um, I definitely see Rota getting hit now. No. It's pretty clear, because I'm going to give two fucking shits about Ignite, so. <laughs> I, I, I do this deck at Locals, and... I'm, you know, unlucky Dan. It's not dirty to say it's unlucky Daniel. Unlucky Daniel. I always cut him into that Royal Magical Library. All the time. All the time. It's actually kind of ridiculous how many times I've cut him into that Royal Magical Library. It's like, wow. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and sit here. Watch this guy go, summon, summon, pop, search. Summon, summon, pop, search. Summon, summon, pop, search. You know, it's like, okay, 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 it's, it's a little, I, all I did was draw, set Mr. Tomato and pass. The rest of this video has literally been him playing with Ignites. I, mean, I just don't like that, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I just don't like it. Now, Pendulum Summon? Especially with no extra deck, like, there's no reason for you not to have no extra deck. I only run two Mr. Tomatoes. It would be great if I could survive the attack. So I should have set the call of the haunted. 
Like I said, with no extra deck, with no toolbox or anything, he's literally just a normal deck that's really aggressive. That's literally what he is. So, let's of course see how this goes down. I mean, Exiton would just be mwah, but I don't think I can pull that off. Just because I don't think I can survive long enough. He's going to kill my, my tomato. Of course, I'm going to go ahead and get my fat freaking tomato MVP, of course. Too strong. No. Yeah. Because I only run two tomatoes. So I can go tomato, tomato, and then I'm going to have to summon something else. And whether that be, you know, you know, Shadow Mist or Armageddon Knight, I still am going to lose something. Oh, oh, I got it. I got it. Well, we'll continue deck fitting. Life points, I don't care about life points right now. I'll go ahead and deck fit, so I'll take 700. I have a really good idea, especially since you don't have a damn toolbox. It's a great idea, but it'll cost me some life points. You know what? That's actually pretty fun. It will cost me some life points, but the thing is, I won't lose, and that's you know, that's all that matters. It's like that. Just because you don't have a toolbox. If you guys don't see it, and you're probably like, what? I don't get it. Like, you'll get it. If someone Mask Chameleon, Mask Chameleon, of course, I'm in, Bell in defense mode. Go ahead and ram the Mask Chameleon into frickin' Templar, and then he sits there and does nothing because he can't get over my Ubell. And then, if he doesn't want to frickin' overextend, then I'll probably fight. The only problem is... I tell you the biggest problem is I'm not sure if I'm gonna run Mask Cannon. Just because Mask Cannon only summons you bell in this deck. But I guess in this sense it's pretty good, but And then he'll probably go ahead and activate his tyrants, whatever. Like I said, with tyrants and heat wave and, and that Ragnar guy, you know, Like this deck doesn't even let you play Yu-Gi-Oh! And that's coming from a guy who plays Tower Turbo. This deck doesn't even allow you to play Yu-Gi-Oh! At least if I summon power, I still give me an opportunity to get around it, get over it. But this deck, mm -mm. The reason why I crashed is because I was going to take more damage not crashing. By allowing, you know, the masculine to get killed by one of these. So, good luck. <clears throat> Especially with no extra deck, like... There's no reason for you not to have an extra deck. Always have a toolbox. Like, these two could be coming in seven. Freaking, you could probably freaking make a... Or something like that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He's actually playing fucking pure fucking Ignites. Wow. <clears throat> Alright, that didn't work out how I thought I wanted it to. It's not like he searched it, so he clearly drew into it, and it's just like, fucking really? <laughs> the fucking vine. Iridocyclitis. Oh my god. Just... I put Masculine in here because I thought that maybe it would allow me to, you know, access e Bell a little bit more. But that's all it summons is e Bell. And if I don't have you build in the graveyard, it does nothing. Oh, wait, no. It has synergy with Golden Glow Giant. What the fuck am I talking about? Yeah, I mean, I guess it does, but I don't really need it. Golden Giant can summon Golden Glow Giant, so, you know, why do I care? <laughs> Drew that Shadow Mist, even though I generally don't want it in my hand. So I am running, like, Mash Chains and stuff. I'm running, I think I'm running, like, one Mash Chain second and one Mash Chains the first. Card, card. Mm hmm Just card a card. No, 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 no. Holy shit. And your turn. It's a balanced pot of greed. Use one card to draw two, but they put a lot of restrictions. Cannot be special summon. It ends your turn. You're not special summon in the turn you activate this card. Discard a card. You have too many cards in your hand. You have seven. Yes, I will probably come up against something sacky. So, 
Uh, people, are you ready? Are you ready to get a glimpse of the world? Because guess what I'm going to do? You guys are about to see the Mrs. Tomato Beatdown! <laughs> you have too many cards in hand. Two. You have seven cards. You need to get down to six. So you gotta discard a card. I don't care what it is, just discard a card during the end phase. That's the problem. Yeah, you do. You can only have six cards in your hand at end phase. Unless stated otherwise by some card. But game mechanic wise, you can only have up to six cards during your end phase. It's the game mechanic! Oh my god. Do, do you need to look at a rule book? Hmm? Hmm? Do you need to look at a rule book? You can only have up to six cards in your hand during the end phase. It's simple fucking Yu Gi Oh! Holy shit! Just card a card. I don't care what it is. Just card just card a card. I can't I can't even continue thank you. But I can't even continue this fucking duel until you discard a card. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. That's your second. Alright, time for that Mystic Tomato beatdown, people. Mystic Tomato beatdown. I only run two Mystic Tomatoes. So <laughs> Mystic Tomato beatdown! Ooh! Worlds! <laughs> You know, people are like, oh, yeah, Mystic Tomato in, in Heroes? Did someone try? I'm like, like that's, that, what's so new about that? Now, what's probably going to be new is this Master Train Second turning this Mystic Tomato into a Dark Law if I need to, especially depending on what he does. I think it's except by drawing, right? Except during the draw phase. Ah, eh, fuck that card. It's either a pot of greed or a hella, hella, hella fucking neg. But like I said, I'm unlucky Daniel, so of course I'm not gonna fucking get it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. On activation. I have a response. Put the card back. I have a response to your fucking upstart. I'm gonna change second. Uh, I don't think you get your effect for cost. Okay. Let's say I don't get that. This card is into a graveyard. Do I get this for cost? I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure. I mean, clearly you're going up against a fucking scrub anyway. He's trying to be sacky, so Dark Law is gonna fucking put in that work. And that ass, so. I said I was gonna go in the dark and start picking shit out of your hand. Like, no, nah, nigga, no. Nah. Damn, what the fuck with Mr. Tomato? Mr. Tomato said, no, nah, man, I got this. I'm putting that work. This is even evil heroes because I haven't gotten a single fusion. It's literally just been heroes. Like, okay, I guess. I said, you think I would like Dark Law because he's a common writer, but I hate Dark Law just because of how danky he is. One. I said clearly we're going up against Infernoids because there's really no other deck that runs reasoning right now. Yeah. Okay. I said the random milling of you know card trooper if you're running or riding if you're running isn't as bad as that sending of Decatron. Not even close. Like I said, I'm not, I don't even like Decatron. I don't even like that card. Damn. Damn. Not a single Inferno. And just your two Dark Holes and a Galaxy Zyclone. Oh, well, then you have Monster Gate, of course. So. Damn. Hey, how much back row do you run? Venus Chains and shit? Like, fucking Infernoids don't need that shit.
Got my mass chain and my mass chain second. There is absolutely no fucking reason to go ahead and summon. Uh, that's Sentimus, so he's gonna banish my shit during it in the battle phase. That's great too. I mean, I guess I'll just go ahead and drop and summon Armageddon. I Armageddon, I drop someone. I said it really doesn't matter. I said I'm gonna get fucked up by Sadamus anyway, so I might as well go ahead and do this. I said if I send you, I mean, really, who do I get to search for? I still don't got a fusion. If I had a fusion, then maybe we could talk, but I just haven't been getting a fusion like at all. I guess I'll go ahead and send Shadow Mist, and Shadow Mist will get its effect, and I'll go ahead and add a hero, I'll add Prisma. And with fucking Sedimus here, he's just gonna beat my ass, so. This card attacks an opponent's monster. This attack can be activated at the end of the battle phase. Banish one card in the field. Okay. It's not mandatory, so. I'm, I apologize, people. I apologize. My mom is being ghetto black woman, so. <laughs> Ooh. Dark calling banish cards from your hand or graveyard. Ooh. I mean. I could pull this guy off. Prisma, Prisma, go ahead and send, become Melissa's Edge. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna lose this duel. I'm clearly gonna lose this duel because I'm gonna kill him. He's gonna go to Graveyard and he can go ahead and summon Light. Hmm. That's a tough one. What's your effect? Because I get you two mixed up. During your opponent's end phase, all monsters that control are turned to face a protect position and each must attack if able. Okay. I said, I'm probably going to lose this duel anyway. I said, I have a terrible, terrible matchup against Inferno, of course, so. Right. So we'll go ahead and of course I'm king. And banish from your hand. Or a graveyard. You can just uh, 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 Dark calling. So I'm gonna go ahead and fuse. So it doesn't matter if you tribute banish. I'm just I just want the name. As I said either way, I'm still gonna have the the materials to do it. So I'm assuming that you wanna go ahead and train your sentiments to banish my uh, Melissa's Edge because I can dark call in the Melissa's Edge. Choice is yours. I said it really doesn't matter. It's just one less monster I gotta deal with. Mm hmm. It doesn't say on field, does it? No, it doesn't. And I don't have a rock either. God damn it. You got it. I said I was gonna lose this duel anyway, but I, was, I tried. I tried. Can't say I didn't try, right? I thought it, I thought it said hand. I th I remember that it didn't say field. Ah, uh, feels field. But I don't like dark calling as much as I like dark fusion. I, I think I like dark fusion better. I tried though, but I was gonna lose that duel anyway. It's infernal. It's they're a tier two deck while I'm a fucking tier booty deck. So, and I'm weak to being banished. So, it was just a duel that I was bound to lose. I tried though, I tried. I thought I had a cool play, but instead of even allowing my cool play, my opponent's like, nah, let me just fuck you up. GG. Alright. This will be the last duel. Last duel. This tomato's putting in at work though. Do not say anything about that. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Alright. 
Oh, I can turn into Denqua. Smoke weed. Smoke weed. This doesn't have to be face up. If it was match in second, then yeah, we could talk, but yeah, this doesn't have to be face up, so. We opened up pretty well, I must say. We opened up pretty fancy. I opened up pretty fancy. I had two plays. My opponent's just gonna set some background. Oh, Teller Knight versus Hero. Thank well. Alright, so you get your effect, I get my effect. I uh, guess I'll go ahead and search for. Prisma. So it's, it's, it's a Teller Knight hype train real, people. It's a Teller Knight hype train for real. Said, I'm gonna fuck you up, man. I'm, I'm running fucking heroes on this tomato. I'm probably gonna lose this adult too. I just gotta hope that he doesn't have like a mirror force or anything. I'm not gonna activate anything, of course, because he'll know from me if he has it. But I'm just gonna literally go Denkwall attack. And of course, any card sent to Great Red's banish instead, if I can banish out the neb. Of course, I'm gonna pick something out of your hand, so as soon as you go ahead and search, I'm gonna pick a random card out of your hand. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. I want to. Denkafet. Oh, I mean, Dark Law Fed. Denkafet. Dark Law Fed. Another card. Finish it. So you don't know Dark Law. How do you not know Denk Law effect? If you add a card to your hand, except during the draw phase or the damage step, I can banish one random card in my opponent's hand. And I want natural. I draw the die. But say, how do you not know Dark Law? Add a card from your deck to your hand, except during draw phase or battle phase, I can banish a random card from your hand. I roll the die, that's the banished card I want, that's the card, that's the random card. I roll the die, roll six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Banish that card for me. Go ahead and banish that card for me, sir. Thank you. I said, I don't know. Mr. Mango just doesn't seem necessary. I mean, not Mr. Tomato, Mr. Tomato seems okay. Uh, the mass trainings don't seem necessary. They don't do anything. Okay. I got these dark fusions. I can't even do anything with them. Ah, eh, fuck it. I'll just attack, and if I get mirror forced, I get mirror force. It's better to just go ahead and kill the Neb. Then activate anything and get Nova. There we go. All right, well, huh. I got nothing. I got nothing. Yeah, you got it. I got nothing. Nope. I said, if he had the mirror force, but of course he did. I said, I'm unlucky Daniel. My opponent has everything. I get nothing and I end up losing. That's why, that's why when I do enter tournaments, I do play shitty. Dirty deck like fucking please. If there's a chance after you didn't get lucky and get your shucking shit, then I'm gonna win. You know, and consistency over luck any day. So, all right. So back to the drawing board. So next time Evil Hero is on here, hopefully it'll be different. But yeah, I saw a couple things, so that's good. Anyway, uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Rhyme and Why. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. I said, that was, was it just smart to just go ahead and attack instead of doing anything? Yeah. But, like I said, did he have the Mirror Force? Yes. <coughs> I'm, glad, <coughs> I'm 
is that I was going to assume there's going to be a Nova back there, a couple of revival cards. So I wasn't going to activate anything, so he couldn't Nova, just a cat, and then it didn't have a good finish. That would have been fantastic, but near force. So awesome. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and see you guys tomorrow with, I don't know, not really, at this point, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to turn Vitamin Y into, you know, I use whatever fucking, uh, 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 you bell deck that I feel like, but at this point, I don't know. Like I said, I still feel like tr trying out some of the other you bell decks that we tried out last week, so. Anyway, thanks for watching.